Well, taking on Bob's advice, we've decided to try and get to the root of the problem. So we're going to leave Krakow, which is down here, and make our way up to a place called Gorzhov, which is virtually on the German border. Apparently, there's a gang of notorious football hooligans there called the Steel on Fighters, and um, we're going to try and make contact with them. Gorzhov is said to be Poland's forgotten city. It's had a turbulent past. Before World War II, it was part of Hitler's Germany. In 1945, during their push to capture Berlin, the Russian army flattened the city. When Gorzhov was rebuilt, it fell to the austere eye of the communist planners. This is Poland's grassroots, and home to a gang of hooligans who have a fearsome reputation for violence on and off the pitch. I want to meet them and to find out why they fight and why Poland is struggling to control them. I've been put in touch with a man called Tomek. He claims to have contact with the local hooligans, the Steel on Fighters, but our presence here is already causing trouble. So. What happened to your face? No, it's them chłopakami, którzy tam zawsze stoją na lejce. Po prostu przywitałem się, cześć, cześć. Oni już wiedzieli, że kręcimy tutaj film, co nie się zaczęło taką. Oni byli pijani, ja byłem wstawiony. So you actually got beaten up because of us? Nie, to było takie może nie nie z waszego powodu, tylko że bez za zaciągnięcia unik zdania jakiegoś bez tego. Przez ostatnie trzy lata Stilon zrobił swoją dobrą chuligankę i im woda sodowa do głowy odbiła. Stilon Gorzow may be a third division team, but the Stilon fighters have a reputation for fighting well above their weight. I thought that meeting up with them may have been difficult. I needn't have worried. They already knew exactly where we were. So how long have you lived here? You have to stop filming now because they've asked us they're going to be apparently going to hurt us, so we're going to stop filming. It's off. It just kicked off, and we've been left in no mind other than the fact that we are really, really not wanted here. We were talking to Tomek, then all of a sudden, one guy turns up, starts pushing the camera, then another one turns up, and obviously that's the way they operate in gangs. Um, then all of a sudden, there was more than three or four. There were about 12 to 15 of them. Um, and they were the Steel on Fighters. These are the guys that are the hoolies, as they call themselves, for the local football team here. And we thought because we were Tomek, we'd be okay, but obviously we weren't. So uh, we've upset them. So we have to leave. The Steel on Fighters are determined to stop us filming them. But we're not giving up just yet. Yes, mate. Our research has found that this city has several right-wing groups, some of which are connected to the Stilon fighters. To get to meet these hooligans, I'm going to have to mix with some pretty unsavory characters. I've come to Poland to meet up with some of the most violent football gangs in Europe. I've already witnessed the level of their violence at a match in Krakow. Now I'm in Gorzhov, where my first attempt to meet the local hooligans led to confrontation. In order to get in with the Steel on Fighters, I've travelled to the other side of town, where our research has uncovered some of their neo-Nazi friends. Going up to meet them, I think the guy I'm supposed to be meeting is a guy called Python, and they're twins. There's Python 1 and there's Python 2. 
And obviously they're like letting everyone know that they're here, because that's your white power sign. Python. Ross Kelly, prisoner. This gang is part of a rising tide of fascism sweeping Poland. They don't regard themselves as hooligans, but as skinheads. They fight alongside the Steel on fighters and support the same football team, but have different beliefs. So, Python One, can you tell me what made you take up this this ideology? What what caused you to want to be the way that you are? I don't like any kind of race. When it comes to the dark, for me, for example, the street or something, it nerves me. It brings me to everything and everyone. I just don't like them. I just don't like them. I've not seen any black people here, so why do you dislike them out of interest? I just don't like them in other ways. I don't like them in the color of their skin. I don't like them in my own place. I don't like them in my own place. All right. What about, what about Jewish people? Do you just like them as well? Yes, because they do everything they do. They want to be on the highest podium. But, but guys, this place, Poland's famous for having concentration camps, isn't it? <laughs> Not enough of them were gassed. They should repeat it, yeah? <coughs> you guys are involved with the football guys in the town and you get involved in the punch-ups, is that true? No, yes, to prawda. We do a little bit of Jeździmy też na ustawki, do mi staramy się, no i dobrze nam to całkiem wychodzi. No liczymy się jakoś, nie wiadomo, w naszym województwie i ogólnie słychać się u nas w Polsce. Na mecze jak jeździmy, to każdy przeważnie się obawia, na przykład już teraz. Robimy adrenalinę po prostu, uwielbiamy to. Trzeba powiedzieć hobby, nie? A communist-backed chemical plant called Stilon used to provide most of the employment in the city. Now unemployment in Gorzhov runs at around 20%. Since the collapse of communism, there's been a rapid rise in right-wing groups throughout Poland. The boys are meeting up with other Nazi sympathizers at a local pub, and I've been invited to tag along. Promoting Nazi ideology in Poland is illegal, but here the whole gang are blatantly wearing 88 T-shirts. Eight represents H, the eighth letter of the alphabet. 88 is short for Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler! I saw a black girl come in there earlier with a white man, and uh, you went up and you told them to leave. Is that the policy here? Do lokali tam, gdzie my na przykład przysiadujemy, ponieważ sobie nie dzwonimy do tego, żeby ktoś tam siedział. Most of the gang are unemployed, but a few of them earn extra cash by working as bouncers in clubs and bars. Even on a night off, they're prepared to put in a bit of overtime. One thing that history tells us is that the right wing rises in times of economic downturn. I find it astonishing with this country's past that some people here can behave like this. Nazi dogma makes it easy to blame others and picking on self-targets gives them status. 